Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop, and we are working on uh, boring out the uh, drive sprocket to fit a different motor for the Cisco lathe. Um, I've made a couple passes here. We're getting pretty uh, close. I've got a uh, high-speed steel bit in my boring bar there because it is a uh, interrupted cut from the keyway right there. So. We're making our last uh, passes. So I'll go ahead and make another cut here. Right there. Fire up the lathe. And start the cut. Got a pretty slow feed rate on it right now. You can hear that interrupted cut from the uh, keyway. We'll wait till that passes through. go. Disengage the feed. Tracked it. Stop the spindle. And as you can see, it's, it's cutting pretty good in there. Um, I got it in the four jaw. I got it to where it's running about a uh, half a thou out across the face. As you can see, it's pretty rough like Almost saw cut, so I was very happy to get it that close. Now I'll set you down here so I can take a measurement. We're shooting for inch and an eighth because that's what size shaft the other motor is. It's kind of a rough no go go gauge. This is the uh, broaching plug I'll be using. So, get in here. Take it off that keyway. We got about ten thousandths to go. Okay. So bring your back up. Back it out five. Let's go five. And okay, let's take uh, another cut. Let me bring you, bring you over here. Let's kick on the spindle. Yes, yeah, a little closer. Engage the feed. Taking a very light cut because we're getting towards the end here. I could probably run this at uh, oh two or three speeds faster, but you know we're not in a hurry. Coming out the back, disengage the feed. 
Back two out. Spindle. Yeah, we're getting really nice surface finish in there. I'm going to end up broaching the keyway uh, probably, you know, 180 degrees off where it was originally. So let me set you back down. Back out the carriage. Oh, we are right there. We're about five thousandths off. Back off. Cross slide. Five thousandths. Get us back up there. Get us close. Bring you back. Re-engage the spindle. And engage the feed. There shouldn't be much left of that uh, original uh, key slot in this uh, pulley when we're done. Feeding it nice and slow. Engage the feed. Lock tool out. Set you back down. That is a nice fit. There's no wiggle in that whatsoever. So bring this guy out. <clears throat> okay. Um, now that we have it bored, we will take it over and we will begin the uh, broaching of the keyway. I'll bring you back. Okay, we got it set up in the uh, press now. We got the... Uh, Broach plug in there in the broach. Got plenty of oil. Always make sure the shoulder's all the way down. Give me a handle here. And we are cutting. I ran this exactly uh, 180 degrees off the old keyway. So we'll run this guy through and then we'll put the uh, back spacer on there and run it through again. So I'll bring you back. So here we are after the first run through and starting to get a nice looking keyway there. Um, with this press, oh, it's just, you know, the Harbor Freight 20 ton. I have to reset the arms to start it and then drop it down and raise it back up. So that's why I'm not showing all that. So, but yeah, the brooch is cutting really nice, taking very little effort. Um, 
So yeah, we'll get this cut, and then I'll bring you back for the uh, finish of this video. Okay, so there we go. Got the keyway cut in there. Came out really nice. Uh, still got just a little bit of deburring to do, but I've checked it on the uh, shaft of the motor we'll be using, and it slips right on and nice fit. So in the uh, next video, we'll be uh, mounting that other motor into the uh, Cisco lathe and see if we can't uh, get it running. This is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.